Yeah, hello again. I've been asked to make a video on how to install one of these alloy generic catch cans into your OM642 engine. Also show you how to dismantle it and make an internal baffle. And I'll show you the best way I think to mount these. So thanks for watching. step is I want you to take one of these small fittings and we're going to drill it out with an 8mm drill bit just to make the bore a bit larger. I don't still leave enough wall thickness. So here's my modified nozzle drilled to 8mm. Now what I'm going to do is screw it to the inside of the cap, just into one of those outlets. So the kit comes with some 10mm hose. So we're going to use a short length of this onto here and this is going to be the inlet pipe into the oil can. Of the cap so it just comes through to the bottom of the hole. I'm going to leave about four or five threads uh, to put the fitting on the outside and when you tighten that up it'll lock them both into place. So now we can put our external fittings on, the large ones. I still like to use a bit of thread seal tape even though there's no ring there. So here's one of my other catch cans, uh, exactly the same design, different colour obviously. See my same internal modification. So the kit will arrive with two different hose fittings. You'll get a 10mm and the larger one is 15 I think. So just understand you may need to buy different size fittings depending on your application, depending on the hose size you're using. And these are readily available from any hydraulic shop. The base thread is an M16 1.5 pitch. Now I've found the best way to mount these catch cans is to make your own bracket using some 25mm flat bar. You can bend it to suit the location and then clamp the body of the catch can to the, the bracket with a large hose clip. And that gives you lots of adjustability. You can spin it around, you can lift it up and down to get it right. I've done this on about four catch cans now and it's proved to be a good solid way of mounting it. I'll just show you the catch can on my four wheel drive. Now this has just done a 2000 km trip across the deserts of Australia in very very rough conditions and I've got it mounted the same way just with a bracket here with a big hose clip and that has not budged. So this is the PCV valve and there's a rubber pipe going from here to the turbo inlet and you need to cut this pipe and you can see I've already done that, you just cut it with a pair of scissors and you cut it about 20 millimetres from that bend. 
So here's how I mounted the catch can. I just drilled a hole through here and bolted that bracket on with an M6 nut and bolt. And then I made some sleeves for the hose fittings that came in the kit. This is just uh, some pipe I had lying around, 16mm OD. I filed the barb off the end of the fitting and then just silicone these sleeves on. This is very simple to connect. Use 5 8 or 16mm hose, obviously work out the length you need and then connect into the crankcase ventilation pipe using 16mm nylon elbows like this and just use uh, cable ties for hose clips. And just remember the gases are coming out of the crankcase there, so you want to send them into the inlet side of your catch can.